Hi guys, we are in Barcelona. Barcelona is an ancient city founded at the end of the first century by the Romans. You can feel the history in the air. Barcelona is a coastal city known for its famous seafood, friendly people, and amazing architecture. This park is something else. Barcelona is absolutely adorned with so many of Antony Gaudi's work, his architecture. You can see these little jewels everywhere. And this was a private residence that we're sitting in right now, made into a park in 1969, thanks to the organization Friends of Gaudi. This place is a labyrinth of mesmerizing pathways and mosaics, art with twists and turns everywhere. Let's take a look at some of the most iconic spots in the beautiful Spaniard city together. Gaudi made his mark on Barcelona with every architecture dream, breathing life into his creative vision. In total, Gaudi designed 14 buildings throughout the city limits of Barcelona, giving the city a unique flavor on each corner. Buenos dias. That's about all I know in Spanish. Anyway, welcome to the temple of, of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. At Jesus Amusement Park. Uh, oh my God, I see Jesus. <laughs> Just kidding. I remember when my cousin Shelby was like two and she'd say, I saw Jesus everywhere. We'd pass a church on the side of the road. It was the sweetest thing. and. I always think about that when I see a beautiful church. Anyway, we are at the top of this beautiful mountain for sunrise at the Sacred Heart of Jesus Temple that resides on a mountaintop looking over Barcelona, Spain. It is magnificently modern with an homage to the past, a Gothic <laughs> inspired architecture. It's beautiful.
today I find myself standing outside of La Sangre Familia Basilica in the heart of Barcelona, Spain. The ingenious architect Antony Gaudi oversaw the construction of this project in the 1800s and could not finish the construction and it continues to go on to this very day. They're still building onto the basilica. It's not finished yet. It's a huge undertaking as the construction continues. Look down below. There's a wedding going on at this very moment. The interior is so unique unlike any other basilica on this earth. This place is like a portal into the universe. Light pours down from the heavens through the stained glass windows and the columns on every corner that seem to stretch in another worldly way. Abstract shapes are literally everywhere and the eye cannot help but wander into the corner of each side of the room to see what is there. It's very sunny outside so all of the stained glass is illuminating the room. That's the only light really that's coming into this room is from the sun through the stained glass which casts the color that the stained glass is. So over here we have the orange and reds and green hues and yellow hues. And over there we have more blues, cool color, lights. Um, it's so amazing, magnificent. Gaudi was brought onto the project in 1883 and famously said that his client was in no hurry. And he died in 1926 when only 25% of the basilica had been finished. The work still continues. The passion facade shows a resemblance to the human bones within the structure's design, dedicated to the passion of the Christ. The magnificent 18 spires resemble the 12 apostles, Virgin Mary, and the four evangelists, and Jesus. The exterior and interior have no right angles within the design and very few straight lines. People come to enjoy Gaudi's architecture from all over the world. Barcelona is actually the Gothic Quarter. I love the tight corridor type alleyways. I can get lost for days as I explore all the beautiful cracks of the history of the Gothic Quarter. Thank you for joining me on this wonderful journey through the beautiful streets of Barcelona, Spain. Next, we will make our way to France. Till then, I will see you in the metaverse.